collectors and gift givers, here is another My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide. Today we are taking a look at Barbie Princess Adventure. Barbie Princess Adventure is a whole new movie coming out. And it's a musical. There are several dolls in this line, and they look like the characters from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures on Netflix. Now, I don't know for sure if they have the same names. They have the same hair colors and hairstyles, but there aren't any names printed on the boxes. But I did a little online searching and found an official description. Barbie discovers what it means to be a modern princess in this full-length original musical when she switches places with her royal doppelganger. Barbie helps a young monarch find her voice and use her position for social change. The movie will be released on Netflix in 2020 and the princess's name is Amelia. So I'm just going to assume that these are the characters from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. Renee, Nikki, Teresa, Daisy, Ken, and Barbie. If I'm wrong, I do apologize. I found all of these dolls at Target. Barbie and Daisy were priced at $19.99. Renee, Nikki, and Teresa were $14.99 each. Ken was $9.99. I picked up these three fashion packs for $9.99 each. And this three doll slumber party set was $39.99. Let's start with Ken and show the guys some love. He has the thinnest of all the doll boxes. On the back of the box, it says Barbie Princess Adventure and there's an illustration from the movie. Where's Teresa? Let's get him out of the box. Oh, look. He just comes right out. The image on the back of the box is very pink, very purple. The doll can be balanced to stand on its own. He wears a silver colored crown, a faux leather jacket that Velcros in the front. He has printed metals on one side and silver plastic details on the other. He wears faux denim jeans with printed details. There are some stitched details at the top like a pocket and he has an elastic waistband. And he wears a pair of white shoes. This doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. The crown is held in place with plastic ties, so you'll have to cut through those to remove it. I wonder if his clothes can fit a kin with more articulation. Here is a Barbie fashionista kin on a BMR 1959 body. It totally fits! Ah, forgot the crown. His swooshy hair gets in the way a little, but I think you get the idea. Sorry, Ken, but there's no guarantee you're gonna get these clothes back. Here's Teresa taking her out of the box. There are a few plastic stays that need to be cut out of the box. She is a petite Barbie. She wears a gold-colored crown headband a lavender top with a pink and white stripe, a layered pink skirt with glitter hearts, the top velcros in the back, and the skirt has an elastic waistband. She wears white platform shoes. She comes with a necklace that says love, a silver colored bag that fits across the body, a teal coffee cup with a handle, and a lavender cell phone. This doll has brown hair with a slight curl to it and the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. Here's Nikki. On the show Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures, this character usually wears her hair in braids as seen in this picture here. However, in doll form, they usually give her afro puffs. I was really hoping for some braids. She has dark brown hair, wears it in two afro puffs, and there is a little silver tiara right there. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Take two. She has dark brown hair, 
wears it in two afro puffs, and has a little silver colored tiara right in the middle. She wears a pink shirt with ruffles on the sleeves. It says believe. A teal layered skirt with foil circles. The skirt and the top are two separate pieces. The top velcros in the back and the skirt has an elastic waistband. And she wears pink tennis shoes. Mmm, I like that. She comes with a silver colored bracelet on her wrist, a pink coffee cup, a hot pink quilted bag, and a teal colored cell phone. This doll has the original body type and it is possible to balance her to stand on her own. Renee is up next. She is a tall Barbie. She wears a hot pink headband with a tiara and a small bow, a white shirt with a ruffle at the bottom, it says dream in teal, a lavender layered skirt with glitter flowers, and teal sneakers. It is possible to balance her to stand on a flat surface. Her accessories include a hot pink choker, a purple coffee cup, a hot pink cell phone, and a teal colored bag. The top and the skirt are two separate pieces. The skirt has an asymmetrical cut and she has the basic five points of articulation. I know I'm being a little picky here, but I do notice that her blush wasn't applied evenly. I have a little pool of color at the top of the cheek and you can see it on the other side as well. It's very faint, but I notice it. Daisy and Barbie come with a few extra accessories like pets. Wait, are pets accessories? On the back of the box, there is the same picture out of the box. Daisy is a curvy Barbie. She has pink hair, bangs. My bangs could use a little bit of a trim. She wears lavender headphones that look like a tiara a metallic green crop jacket, a lavender dress with ribbon straps. The bottom of the dress has three layers. The top layer has purple foil stars and inspirational words. She wears pink shoes, comes with an extra pair of shoes. These are teal. She has a metallic silver necklace, teal sunglasses, a pearl colored purse, gray cell phone, and a white cat with a purple tiara and pink bow that can be removed. This doll has the basic five points of articulation as well. Barbie comes in a similar pack with accessories. She has the same gray colored phone. Her sunglasses are purple. She has an extra pair of pink shoes, a metallic silver necklace, a pearly purse, and a pet wearing a removable tiara and necklace. Barbie is wearing a matching tiara, a metallic crop purple jacket with a fur collar, a pink dress with ribbon straps, and the bottom of the dress is asymmetrical. It has three layers. The top layer has pink foiling and it has the same inspirational words. She finishes her look with a pair of teal colored sneakers. Boy, those are some uh, big headed pets there. Personally, I prefer more realistic proportions, but that's just me. Barbie and Daisy's dresses are totally similar and they are in line with the color palette of this collection, which is very pink, very purple, and very teal. Personally, I would have liked to have seen more articulation, especially at the $20 price point. But knowing me, I'm most likely just gonna take everybody's clothes. Hmm, nice jacket, Daisy. Expanding my doll wardrobe is the motivation behind many of my doll purchases, which is a good segue into the Barbie Princess Adventure Slumber Party playset. For $39.99, you get three dolls and accessories. On the back of the box, we can see the dolls and the accessories all laid out. I am totally destroying this packaging. Out of the box, you get Barbie wearing a teal headband, a cat t-shirt, pink shorts with glitter hearts, 
The shirt and the shorts are two separate pieces, wearing teal house shoes. The house shoes are a little loose, so be careful of that. I just had to have these PJs, although I could do without the glitter hearts on the shorts. The hearts are really cute, but in my experience, some of the glitter is coming off onto my hands. Here is Nikki with her hair pulled up. She wears a lavender headband, an oversized nightshirt with sweet dreams and foil on the front. It's a little lower in the back and it velcros. She has lavender house shoes. They are a little big as well. Daisy wears a silver colored headband. She wears a lavender t-shirt nightgown with a ruffle at the bottom. It says good night on the front. She has pink house shoes and these are staying on a little better. Yay! We get three sleeping bags. They are made out of a fuzzy-ish type of material that doesn't need to be hemmed, but they do hem along this top edge of the sleeping bag. It's pretty flat. It's two layers of fabric. Just lift up the top layer and you can put the doll inside. All right, I think she's pretty comfy there. Not quite sure how a tall Barbie would do in this sleeping bag, but we've got Renee to test it out. Into the sleeping bag she goes. Yeah, she's a little tall. The sleeping bags have three different patterns on the front and a complementing fabric in the back. You get three plastic pillows I would love it if these were actual pillows, but being plastic, they, uh, they lay nice and flat, very uniform. We get three eye masks in pink, teal, and purple, a silver colored laptop, a pink tray, a strawberry cake, little teacups, we have three of these, and popcorn in pink, teal and purple. These dolls have the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. By getting this set, you do end up with repeat dolls. It would have been awesome if these items could have been found in an accessory pack, like a sleeping bag, PJs, eye mask, laptop, pillow, house shoes, cup, and popcorn all in one. That's why I am happy there are fashion packs available in this collection. So all of our dolls can have a Barbie princess adventure. Let's take a look at this one first. Oh yeah, Minnie Toya has joined the cast. We got a pink headband, a purple choker, a metallic jacket that Velcros in the front, a lavender bag, coffee cup, a teal skirt with glitter stars, it's one layer, and has a silver waistband. We got purple heels and a pup with a matching collar. This fashion pack gives any doll that modern princess look. Up next, oh, I can get used to this. We have a lavender headband with black sunglasses, a white cell phone, a pink heart bag, a striped crop top that says awesome, a lavender sparkly pleated skirt, pink boots, and a pig wearing a purple tutu. To go along with that slumber party playset, here are some PJs. Aw, Minnie Toya looks so sweet. She wears a teal colored headband, a pink nightgown with polka dots. She has a big tub of popcorn, a teal polka dot bow pillow that is made of fabric, pink bunny house shoes, and a bunny wearing a teal colored tiara. Man, all we're missing is a sleeping bag. Well, this is pretty simple. I bet we could make one in this style very fast. I have some pink and teal fleece, so we don't have to worry about hemming. Cut a 12 and a half by four and a half rectangle, then a nine and a half by four and a half inch rectangle. Stack them, sew or glue along the edges. I'm going to sew it and I'm using pins to hold it all in place. 
I used a sewing machine, but you can totally do this by hand. Make sure you leave the side open. And I started about a half an inch down on the top to make a sleeping bag inspired by Barbies. Now my mini me can join the slumber party, but they have a pattern. I want a pattern. Using the same measurements, I cut two of each. I'm using a cotton fabric this time with a pattern. Lay them good side to good side. Sew a straight line going across the top. This can be sewn by hand, but I'm using my sewing machine because it's faster. Once sewn, flip it, iron it flat, place it between the two layers of the larger rectangles so it is sandwiched on the inside. We want to make sure everything lines up at the bottom. Starting at the top, sew a straight line going all the way around, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out, creating a little pocket for the doll to fit in. Sew the opening closed to make a sleeping bag with a pattern. And what's really cool about this is that it is reversible. Yeah. I made a little flat pillow to go with it. And now we have two options for the slumber party. This one is very easy to make. This one's still kind of easy, but just requires a few more steps. But it's totally worth it to have a fabulous looking sleeping bag. Overall, I like this modern princess look. Teresa's shirt is definitely one of my favorites. I really like the PJs. I do wish the dolls had more articulation, but the fashion packs for me are a must have. Let us know in the comments down below if you think this collection is a buy or a pass. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Barbie Princess Adventure and made a DIY sleeping bag. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye yeah.